Tiger Talk. This is, if you don't know, this is the number one talk show in Nebraska, the number one college talk show in Nebraska. So I want to thank you for joining me for season two, episode one. I'm excited. I hope you're excited, Laura Lee. I am also excited. We have a great show here, and we're ready to get it started for you again this year. Uh, and to start off the season this year, we have Rob O'Reilly coming on a little bit later on. He is a comedian from Boston, and he's going to be doing a little bit of... He'll be doing a little bit for you while he's interviewing and be hilarious. Yes, that is what I was trying to say. Thank you, Laura Lee. You, you, you always got my back, don't you? I know. You get tongue-tied quite often, but I'm here to support you. I'll I get all these get thoughts you. going through my head, and then I just get confused. I'll get you out of those jams most Good. of the time. Good. Thank you. Uh, like I was saying, we got Rob coming up on the show a little bit later on. Also, hopefully the rest of September, we're hoping to get some more comedians in for Sax Funny Fridays. Uh, coming up this Friday, they got uh, Kyle Dunnigan. You've seen him on Reno 911. He was the Truckee River Killer. That was his character on the show. Um, but unfortunately, unfortunately, they killed him off. So um, we'll, to, we'll try to make that an easy topic for him. But uh, also, uh, they got Dan Cummins coming up later on. And then the last comedian in Funny Fridays is Retta, who is an extra on Parks and Recreation, who I'm hoping they'll give us some speaking roles to, but not, not yet. Um, also, uh, homecoming this week, this year, uh, Sack is bringing in a magician called um, Norman Ng. So I'm hoping to get him on the show. Maybe he'll do some tricks or teach me how to do something. You know, maybe we can work something out. We, we might have better luck him teaching me tricks than you, because you know I think I could handle him a little bit better than you could. Well, you know I'm I'm pretty good at magic. You know I am. I mean I I completely made up a show last year and it worked. So <laughs> I'm pretty good at magic. I think. Um, that, that wasn't magic. That was all skill. Yeah? Oh, yeah. well, thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm looking forward to this season. It should be a good show. If you want to be a guest on the show, maybe you got something you want to talk about. Maybe your fraternity or sorority has got a party going on this, this weekend or something, or uh, your organization has a big fundraiser coming up, or maybe your t golf team or something has this huge tournament or woo, something. Woo. Yeah, um, anyway. <laughs> Maybe your golf team has a big tournament, or, your, or maybe the football team, something makes state, I don't know, well, not state, but nationals. <laughs> I'm still stuck in, I'm thinking high school here. Give me a sec. Um, so if you got something going on, be sure to let us know, dctv at dome.edu. We'd love to have you on the show so we can talk about it, help promote it, give you a little free promotion. Not advertising, but promotion. Promotion. For all those TV execs that are out there watching right now, it's promotion. 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 Um, so, again, we'd love to have you on, so make sure you send us an email, dctv at dome.edu. Let us know what's going on. I sent out an email this summer asking people for pictures of friends that they knew at Doan that didn't come back this year. So if you got a faculty or staff member in mind that didn't come back this year, uh, be sure to send us a picture, some pictures of them, and a video, re a song request for a tribute video we'd like to do. It's uh, basically, you know, saying goodbye to those that uh, aren't coming back this year. For instance, uh, Dan Vecton of Student Leadership didn't come back this year. Um, all the RDs, uh, none of them came back this year. Uh, Eric Vaughn didn't come back this year either. So, you know, a whole bunch of staff and faculty didn't come back this year. So if you want to pay tribute to them, be sure to send dctv at dome.edu a picture and a song request for a good tribute video. We want to get enough pictures to get a good video tribute going, so make sure you send us those. If you'd like to be a part of the show, be sure to send us an email as well, dctv at dome.edu. Uh, we're always looking for help, you know? We got, a, we got a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun here on the show, so if you want to be a part of it, be sure to send us an email, let us know. Get to hang out with cool people like Rob coming up. Last year we had on Kevin Hart. It's pretty cool hanging out with him. So if you want to be a part of the show, let us know, dctv at dome.edu. Coming up, we got Rob O'Reilly. He's going to be in here for an interview, so make sure you stick around for that right here on the number one college talk show in Nebraska. Cool people like us. Woo! Welcome back to Tiger Talk. My name is Dustin Dales. I want to thank you guys for joining me for the season premiere, or season two premiere 
I'm joined tonight by my very special guest, Rob O'Reilly. Uh, we saw Sack took a trip up to NACA where we book our acts and we saw him up there and we just fell in love with his routine and we thought it fit in perfectly with Doan and all the students, so we thought we'd bring him up here. So ladies and gentlemen, I give you Rob O'Reilly. <laughs> How's it going, Rob? Thanks hey. for joining me, I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. So you're, you, you, you're how old, 23 now? 24. 24, and how long have you been doing comedy? Seven years, like seven and a half years. Oh yeah? I started right before, no, right after 9-11. It's like 2001, so yeah, I guess it's uh, it's almost been actually eight years now. Oh yeah? yeah. And you got your first uh, comedy routine was at your high school talent show, right? It was indeed, yeah. I was uh, 16 years old. I was a junior in high school. Uh, it was unrelated to 9-11. It wasn't like that. <laughs> Let's <laughs> that hope not. That didn't inspire me to do comedy. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, uh, yeah, I just like, well, actually when I was a sophomore, I had a, a Spanish teacher who told me that I should uh, do something for the talent show that year. And so I was like, yeah, I should try to do comedy. And I, and I, uh, I tried to write some jokes. And I realized I only had like a minute. Of, like, I, had, like, I had like two jokes at that point. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I wrote material for the next year. And, um, and then, you know, I basically just started keeping a journal. I mean, that's what stand-up comedy, people are like, how do you start stand-up comedy? Just start start writing jokes. I just started keeping a journal of all my funny thoughts and you know when the next talent show came around when I was a junior I had like a five minute five I thought I had probably like 15 minutes but I probably had about five minutes yeah. of material. What was, do you remember what your your first joke was? Do you still remember? Yeah well it's weird things I still tell the joke. Oh yeah? <laughs> and uh, what's even weirder is that not only do I still tell that joke I've, I've added a little to it or whatever, but that, that joke I actually ended up doing on my, my TV debut. Um, I, I did live at Gotham last year on Comedy oh, yeah. Central. Right. Mm -hmm. That was my first stand-up you know, set on TV. And uh, I, that, I did that joke. You know, I did like a 10-minute set. They cut down to five minutes, and they kept that joke as one of the... I think I ended up doing, a, I guess, probably like seven jokes or something. Mm -hmm. And the first joke I ever wrote, believe it or not, was... Yeah. In my TV debut, it's just really weird. Which yeah. joke was that? Uh, the joke is like uh, the premise is that, um, uh, well, you know, it started because I saw all these kids in my high school that were trying to like act cool by like limping. Oh, they, like, yeah. They limp when they walk. So I was like, I don't know about you, but I don't think it's cool to look injured. <laughs> like, what's this kind of kid do when he really wants to impress a girl? And then I like pull myself on the ground, and I'm like, they call me Gimp Daddy. <laughs> Girl, I'm paralyzed by your parathies. <laughs> paralyzed, I like that. That's good. Do you Thank still you. use that one every, every so often? Yeah, I'm sure I'll do it tonight, yeah. Yeah? I'll do it all the time. Well, um, you've, had a, you've had, you mentioned you were on Live at Gotham. You had a couple other things. Um, how many times were you on Live at Gotham? Just one. You just do that show once. Just yeah, do it so. once? And then you had, what else have you done on TV? Um, well, I did, uh, well, the, first, the first thing I ever did is I got, um, a correspondent spot on The Tonight Show, basically. Mm -hmm. Jay, like Jay Leno was looking for, um, uh, you know, it was, like, it was called like, Who Wants to Be the Tonight Show Correspondent mm -hmm. or something. So I sent them a tape that I had made. It was, this was like right after I graduated in 06. And uh, the uh, and they, they ended up, they called me. It was really weird. They called, I like, you know, usually when you send someone a tape like that, it's not like I sent it through a manager or anything. It was just like totally cold. But usually when you send a tape like that, you don't expect yeah. anything to ever happen. <laughs> and they, they even said on the air they got like thousands and thousands of submissions. But they picked my tape as like one of the five tapes they played on the air. And, um, and then they, and they got a huge reaction from the crowd, which is great to hear. And then, and then they ended up playing it again a few months later on like a Best of the Tonight Show. Um, so yeah, that was my first you know TV credit was... Jay Leno's correspondent, um, and then from there I did uh, I did some stuff on TRL. I've been on TRL a bunch of times, like all random stuff. I uh, like I think the first time I interviewed the cast of uh, Harry Potter, <laughs> and then uh, and then I did this thing. It was like the worst your worst breakup story, and I won this contest. And I flew to to Hawaii and. Uh, I got a makeover from the cast of Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Oh, yeah? Uh, America's Got Talent. That was the worst show. <laughs> I've, I, that was the worst experience of my life. That was, uh, 
I probably shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> uh, it was just a horrible show. It was, 